bad divorce and 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 and, and when 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 men mess up women have a way of travailing and praying and seeking God's face to get their man back but when it's the other way around y'all hear him say men go crazy y'all we could we, we could be coming from doing something wrong and see you texting and y'all hear him say and lose our mind when, 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 when the shoe is on the other foot so I'm 394 pounds I'm sleeping in the nighttime with the mask on I got diabetes y'all ain't hear what I'm saying I'm dealing with prostate cancer <laughs> great day in the morning I'm going through every possible storm that a person can go through and uh, the spirit of oppression came in there on the eve of God wanting to do something great for me you can always tell that the Lord is working on your life by the amount of attacks that you're under accusations and criticisms are the final stage before spiritual promotion you can always tell how blessed you're going to be tomorrow by how much hell you're going through right now if you're going through hell in your life right now you just need to stand and turn because God is about to shake some stuff off of you and off of your life I found myself in my 10,000 plus square foot house in the bathroom with razors around the tub y'all ain't hear what I'm saying and getting ready to take my life you know, the spirit of oppression had come in so deep that I lost my joy I lost my peace I lost my patience I lost everything y'all ain't hear what I'm saying when I got sick the first time I had no one around me that I could trust so I told the church that I was going to Africa I went on my way to Africa I was on my way to Duke Hospital I was in Duke Hospital for three weeks they thought I was in Africa in three weeks in Duke Hospital no visitors no one around me the spirit of oppression had his hand on me and on my life and the whole time he's ministering and speaking to me telling me to take your life it culminated when I was in that tub on that night with the jets running and I was on the phone and I was making telephone calls to friends of mine saying to them goodbye but they didn't know that I was going to take my life oppression when it comes in it will wipe you out oppression will come in a way where a dance and a song and a shout cannot help you church listen to me we got some serious problems in the church and we need some real intercessors in the church in this season because the devil is attacking from the pulpit to the usher board he wants to take us out the devil wants us back bad the bible says when an evil spirit leaves the house the house is swept and garnished but the spirit goes to find seven spirits worse than them to return back to the house shake your neighbor say he wants you back real bad he wants you back real bad the devil wants you back real bad i'm sitting there in the tub the jets are going and my phone starts ringing on the other end it's my grandson my grandson papa what you doing and like a two-year-old i said to him nothing he said papa what is it today what's today because on tuesdays i had one person to pick him up to bring him to church and on Mondays another person to pick him up because Mondays was our movie night it's on our movie night and so my grandson he's calling me the same one that I tried to abort the same one that I tried to get rid of uh -huh, he's calling me on the phone he say Papa I don't want King to pick me up I want you to come and pick me up I said okay I'm gonna pick you up I hung the phone up and took the razor and pricked my arm if you get close you can see it I pricked my arm and I stung I, I, I pulled my arm back and blood wrapped around my, 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 my wrist like it was a bracelet and I just began to say goodbye to everyone in that tub I couldn't see tomorrow y'all ain't hear what I'm saying but the phone rang again and it kept on ringing so I answered the phone he said Papa Papa how long you gonna be and I said I'm not gonna be long y'all ain't hear what I'm saying he said Papa what are you gonna wear I said you tell me what you gonna wear he said I'm gonna put on my white Air Force Ones my jeans and my plaid shirt I said well I'm gonna put on my white Air Force Ones my jean and my plaid shirt and I'm gonna come and pick you up he hung the phone up he called me right back he said Papa Harry up I got up out of that water I put on my white Air Force Ones my jeans and my plaid shirt I got in the car and I drove down to my daughter's house burp, burp, I beat the horn my grandson come running out dressed up like me he sat in the car he said Papa I love you I started crying I said I love you too he said Papa why are you crying I said I'm crying because I love you but that wasn't the truth I was crying because he saved my life ah. 
God's got somebody who is assigned to the second half of your life. I don't know what this conference has been like. I don't know what you have been experiencing, but the Holy Ghost told me it's time for PAW to dance again. It's time for the glory days to come back where we dance until demons get back, where we dance until the atmosphere shifts and changes. Grab your neighbor by the hand and pull your neighbor say, neighbor, I can't stay in the predicament that I'm in. I've got to find a praise. Is there anybody in the building that knows how to give God praise? I'm looking for the praises. I'm looking for the praises. Mm -hmm. 170 pounds lighter. There's no cancer in my body. Y'all ain't no, no diabetes in my body. I ain't on no medications no more. I've been delivered by the power of God. And I stopped by the convention to tell you it's time to dance. Find a beat and go to bouncing. I don't know what tomorrow's going to look like. But I know that God is about to do something supernatural in my life. Grab your neighbor by the hand and shake your neighbor. And say, neighbor, if your praise ain't working for you, then use mine. Because somebody in this building has got to open up your mouth and give God a praise. Well, the praises. Well, the praises. Well, the praises. Somebody better praise him. Somebody better praise him. We got to go back to the old time way. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. Blood running warm in my vein. The blood that Jesus shed for me. Way back on Calvary. It will never lose its power. For it reaches the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power I come to tell you that I'm going to dance until I stop hurting I'm going to dance until all of my bills are paid I'm going to dance till my body is healed I heard the Bible say praise ye the Lord praise God in the sanctuary praise him for the ferment of his power praise Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise him with the cymbals. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him with a tremble and dance. Let everything, let everything, let everything. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Let everything, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Now listen to me. If you ain't gonna praise God. Get off the floor Cause I'm looking for some praisers I'm looking for some folks Who remember The hell you had to go through In order to get your praise Look at your neighbor say neighbor I'm about to break out in the praise Yeah I didn't come here just to talk to you I came here to testify to you He brought me out Of the moral clay He placed my feet On a rock to stay That's the reason I sing and shout He came down and lifted me up Where are The praises in the building I feel the Holy Ghost in here Where are the praises In the building They tell me that Judah means praise. But as I began to research, Judah has nine definitions. And one of the definitions to Judah is a palm at the throat of your enemy. When you start praising God, a supernatural palm goes to the throat of your enemy. And the more you praise God, the palm becomes a fist. It means that praise is designed to choke the hell out of what's been choking the hell out of you. If you want to choke the devil, open up your mouth and bless God. No weapon. Uh, no weapon. Uh, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. We go march into the enemy's camp and take back everything the devil stole from us I need somebody to shabak the Lord in this place shabak him shabak him shabak him shakata shabak him shabak shabak derives 
from the Hebrew word Shabiri. It means to confuse the enemy. Every time you Shabbat God, the demons that were on assignment gets confused. Is there anybody in the building ready to confuse the devil? Open up your mouth and Shabbat the Lord in this place. somebody say I haven't danced in a long time but, 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 but what is going to happen tonight I'm going to get my joy back I'm going to get my peace back I'm going to get my dance back I'm going to get my release back I was I, I don't want you to think that I'm just here preaching off the cuff I'm reminded of a story that I read about a man in London, England, Bishop walking, taking in the cool breeze Usher he wasn't paying attention to where he was walking and the story goes he falls into a manhole he rips open his back and he sprains his ankle help! he screams out of the manhole uh huh and the story goes a priest comes by and says somebody down there and he said yes I'm down here, I sprained my ankle, my black back is bleeding, I, I need help. The priest stands back and writes him a prayer and drops it in the hole and walks on. He said, Lord Jesus, I'm in trouble. I got a prayer that ain't working. Help! He screams the second time. The story goes, a doctor comes by. Anybody down there? He said, yes, I'm down here in this hole. I sprained my ankle, my back is bleeding. I, 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 I need help. I got a prayer that doesn't work. The doctor runs to his car, pulls out his black bag, writes him a prescription, and drops it in the hole. He said, I got a prayer that's not working in the prescriptions I can't get filled. Help! He screams the third time. The church says that he walks by and his friend hears him and recognizes, hey man, is that you, buddy? Yeah, it's me. He says, listen, I'm in trouble. My back is bleeding. My ankle is sprung. I got a prayer that doesn't work in a prescription I can't get filled. But buddy, I know you're going to get me out of here. I need a ladder or a rope or something. His friend backed up. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. And jumped down in the hole with him. He said, you stupid, crazy idiot. I told you I had a prescription I couldn't get filled. I had a prayer that wasn't working. I need a rope or a ladder. He turned and he said, buddy, be quiet. I've been down here before and I know my way out of this. I come to tell you tonight, I've been down here before and I know my way out of this. And you're coming out. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, ah, neighbor. Ah, neighbor. You're coming out. You're coming out with victory. You're coming out with joy. You're coming out with peace. You're coming out with death cancellation. You're coming out. Grab somebody and shake them and say, neighbor, you're coming out. I want you to have your seats, have your seats, have your seats, have your seats, have your seats. I want to clear the floor and I only want the praises up on, there they go, there they go, there they done broke out, there you go, there you go, there you go. Because you're getting your joy back, you're getting your peace back. I dare you to go ahead and pray just the praises. Oh! Put those hands together. Ah, shakata. I 
a hundred men to run down here and start dancing. Let's destroy the yoke of the enemy. Where are the dancers? Here we go! hands and bless the Lord in this place. Give the men a hand clap. Give them a praise. Give them a hand clap. Give them a hand clap. Clear the floor. Now I need the sisters to come. You're going to show them how to do it. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Bodies being healed. Breakthrough. Ah, yes. Sakata. 
Kitaba. I dare you to bless him in this place. I dare you. Woo! Lift those hands. You're not going through for nothing. No one gets married so that their marriage ends up in divorce. No one buys a house so that the it ends up in foreclosure. Who buys a car so that the repo man can pick it up? You don't have children so that they're awarded to the state. But sometimes things like this happen. And when they do, you need to know that you got a savior that can turn things for you. Just tell somebody you're coming out, you're coming out, you're coming out. Whatever your storm is, your trial is, you need to work it into your praise. You need to work it into your praise. I come this far to play with this thing now. I'm delivered. I'm set free. I got to praise and I got to get it out. Lift those hands all over this building. Somebody was contemplating suicide. Someone was ready to give up. But this was the night for your breakthrough. The night for your deliverance. You don't have to run down here to the altar. God is big enough to touch you right where you are. Just lift those hands right where you are. And tell him what you need him to do. Because I hear the chains falling. 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 No, no, nobody is going to participate in this deliverance for you. It's you and God right now. There's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And I hear them falling. I heard them falling all night long. I hear them falling. I hear them falling. Father, I thank you for deliverance, for breakthrough, for your people. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Just worship him right where you are. Shakata masakata. Ukobo shanda rabasata ba. Handa basata ba. Break every chain. 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 There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To pray every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain 
Break every chain. Break every chain. Now clap those hands all over this building. I want you to have your seats very, very quickly. I want no walking for about three minutes or so. No walking. Turn to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, now it's time to exercise our faith. Say it with authority. It's time to exercise our faith. Right now, in this moment, bow those heads, bow those heads softly, softly. I learn how to praise God and how to work my faith. No tricks, no gimmicks, no games. In this moment, in this atmosphere right now, There is an anointing and an atmosphere for kingdom economy. For you to step into a place where the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will transfer wealth to you. And that ain't no joke. I told you I never expected to be where I am. And the Lord did this. When my mother was sick, she was in hospice. I went to see her and she says, all I want, son, is to spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with the family. Her kidneys had failed. She was hooked up to a machine. In my natural mind, I said, it's not possible. But I smiled, I nodded at her. And I said, God's going to work this out. I remember I went to church for five weeks I sold a seed of $1,000 over and above my tithe and offering for five solid weeks. In the seventh week, my mother had a turn for the best and came up out of hospice and lived with us for seven months. She couldn't sit still. 80 some odd years old, but she was young in her heart. She fell and when she took a fall, she had to go back to the hospital and she began to decline again. And she says, I don't want to die here. Take me out and get me home. I remember we got out on a Tuesday afternoon. She went home. She ate. And by 8 o'clock that evening, she had slipped away into glory. Your seed has power. I don't know your address, your telephone number. I don't have any prophecy to give you. I just know that the Lord has blessed me real good. And the anointing that is on my life to get wealth is about to be transferred to you tonight. With those heads bowed. Those heads bowed. There are 300 people in this room tonight. 300 of you. Your seed challenge is $58. 58 dollars 58 promises in the word of God. 58 promises in the word of God. You're putting a dollar on every one of those promises. And we're going to sow this into the heavenlies tonight. And miracles are going to be your portion. But I want men walking first. 